एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू ड्रीम होम सीजन सेवन पावर्ड बाय जोन्स एंड टाइल्स को प्रेजेंटेड बाय एसीसी सीमेंट्स प्रयाग एचपीएल वायर्स एंड एसेट होम्स सो बिफोर मूविंग ऑन टू द कंपटीशन एस यूज़ुअल लेट्स वेलकम अ वंडरफुल पैनल ऑफ जजेस मिस सिदा सजीव जान सो ऑन दिस वेरी स्पेशल एपिसोड वी प्रेजेंट � Rosa House from Calicut. Judge is all ready. Let's take a look. What's up, family? I'm your host, Dinesh Karthik, and welcome to a brand new episode of Dream Home Season 7. We are at Rosa House in Calicut City. This is a 2,500 square foot property with four bedrooms. Let's take a look. Let's get into the exterior. As you can see, there isn't much of a landscape. There's actually just one strip around the side. Uh, we have lots of paving tile. It goes pretty. It pretty much takes up the entire space within the property. Now, be, uh, one thing that I have noticed is that we do have a pergola right up instead of right above the garage area. It actually extends over uh, like an awning on this side as well. And let's take a look inside. <laughs> Welcome into the sit-out area. As you can see, we have greens, browns, and whites, and blues. We have uh, white vitrified tiles right below me. We actually have this very, very interesting uh, skylight. It's actually designed with uh, squiggly lines. That's pretty unique. I don't really see that too many places. Uh, we have a natural stone tiles around this pillar area. And we have a wooden door, which is painted completely blue. And you see this window right here. Obviously, it's also painted blue. Now, let's take a look inside. into the living room. As you can see, we have color schemes of gray and white and off-white. We actually have this gray wooden paneling that stretches out all the way to the end of the ceiling. And it definitely matches, obviously, the curtains. You can see it is, we've got roller blinds. They're also gray and, and, and off-white as well. And we've got some comfy sofas. We've got vitrified tiles right below me, glass doors. Overall, it's just an awesome looking room. As you can see, we've got grays and whites. We have a beautiful dining table with a glass on top. It's tinted black. We have wooden chairs. We have a wooden crockery shelf right in front. We have obviously lots of blues and whites. And uh, something I definitely find very interesting is we do have sofas within this space. Now let's take a look at the kitchen. And this is the kitchen. As you can see, it is a bit small and compact, but it's definitely cozy. We have themes of 
blacks and whites and obviously we have some blue because blue is definitely something that you see in the rest of the house. We have this blue door that leads into the work area which is right behind here. We also have some brown backsplash tiles which is also a combination with white and in addition to that we have some black granite tops and an open space and you can see directly into the dining area from right here. This is the staircase. As you can see, we have the vitrified tiles that lead all the way down. We've got some wooden hand railings with a metal in between, which looks very, very fantastic. We have some artifacts and stuff like that going around the sides. And we have this beautiful, beautiful chandelier right above me. And in addition to all of that, that squiggly line uh, ceiling design that I had seen. have access to the three bedrooms on top up here and this awesome balcony just step outside and there's your view now we have some awesome couches definitely meet, meets the rest of the color requirements because they're gray and we got the whites and we have the blacks and we have an awesome TV right here with this beautiful paneling and we've got the vitrified tiles right below now let's take a look at the next room This is the master bedroom. As you can see, we've got blues and reds and whites. And obviously we have the vitrified tiles right below me. Two very, very large, large windows. This is great for lighting and obviously airflow circulation. And we have the dressing area to my right. We also have one to my left with a little makeup counter. And we have the bathroom straight ahead. Now let's take a look at the next room. And that was the magic of Rosa House in Calicut. Thank you guys so much for joining with us on this adventure. I'm your host, Dinesh Karthik, and I will see you again next time. This is the first time I've been here. This is the contemporary style. This is the first time I've been here. This is the first time I've been here. Pena entrance ulalegi keran samai de front entrance sile nere kanan nade stairan. As stair cederi kena de straight flight lana stair cederi kena de. As stair na highlighti an wendi de tarai ro dry kotiyade cederi tunda. 
both of the judges would be having 100 marks each wherein this 100 marks is again subdivided into 10 different aspects which includes exteriors, interiors, decor and lighting, landscaping, kitchen, bathroom, flooring, wardrobe, painting and value for money. So starting off with exteriors, Ms. Siddha. Uh, this is a quite an interesting house in the sense that there's so many features, so many things to see there. Uh, first thing that hits you is probably the colors because they've used a rare combination of a blue and a red along with the off-white walls. The, the second thing is that these colors are all, um, are all as a background to a whole myriad of lines. Uh, checks to be precise formed by the various pergolas and uh, meshes that they have created. Uh, overall I felt that if you wanted to give bright colors you got to be keep it plain and simple or you have to go with simple colors and a, a whole bunch of lines. So here's a combination of the two which didn't really work so well for me. Mm. I'm giving it a 5.5. 5.5 out of 10, Mr. Jippo. I think this house, uh, there is something interesting about it. Uh, you see uh, masonry walls and you see an equal amount of steel frames and a lot of frames and other things coming out of it. So there is actually an interest that is automatically created. Then there is the use of colors like the uh, orange color, then there is a blue for the compound wall, then the gray. Uh, so, uh, the mix of colors, although drastically different, it creates an interest to the passerby or, you know, to know what it is because there has been a contemporary method of handling the whole uh, form or the mass of the building. I think that is quite interesting. I will give it 6. 6 out of 10. Interiors. The interiors for me are a little overpowering because of the use of very dark colors, uh, both for some of the walls, some of the ceilings. They've taken a really dark colored um, contrast. But the uh, sofas and some of the furnitures have been kept simple, which is all right. Uh, so the curtains again comes out as, especially when we use these uh, horizontal bolt sides, the zebra curtains they call sometimes called tracery. These curtains tend to have very strong dark and light lines, which actually uh, becomes the theme or the highlight of the whole thing. And along with that, when you have other kind of uh, darker wood uh, features, it tends to become very overpowering. That was my problem with the interiors, but otherwise it's a simple straight uh, interior 5.5. 5.5 out of 10, Mr. Jippo. I think for interiors, the most important thing is when you get inside a house, the lighting, the natural light that should come in, the kind of window dressing that is used, the furniture and everything should be quite bright and uh, or you know, you, you should have a lot of natural lighting. I find an absence of this, I don't know whether it's the time or maybe the huge uh, uh, depth in the blinds they have used. There is a lot of lines, like Sudha has mentioned, a lot of lines in the blinds. So it is basically meant for the partial uh, visuality, uh, visual uh, to see what is outside, but that is not happening here. Then the sofas and the dining tables, along with the heavy colors used, doesn't match up to the lightness you want to feel when you go inside. I will give it 5.5. 5.5 out of 10. <laughs> decor and lighting. There is a, uh, something very, very, very different in this house in that the doors and the windows are painted to a certain shade of bluish grey. Uh, that by itself along with the ceiling cut out, you find a certain squiggly line in the ceiling, uh, which uh, I think is a part of the slab, brings in a natural light inside, which is quite interesting by itself. But then that along with this particular dark wood that comes into play is uh, quite daunting actually, it didn't really strike me so well. Uh, but another th uh, different aspect to this was the staircase, which you find doesn't turn, it's just a straight flight up, which I thought was quite nice, quite interesting actually. Uh, it, it created another level in between with a little potted plants around it and all that could have been treated slightly better, but the space is interesting. So that part was nice, uh, the blue bedroom actually sort of was the highlight of the whole thing I felt because the, for the first time actually the non-wooden uh, coloured windows and doors went well with the decor of the room. Uh, but overall 5.5. 5.5 out of 10, Mr. Jibbo. 
Yeah, I think uh, it is again a mix of lot of things. The curtains used are quite heavy in a lot of other areas where they've used uh, the blinds. That is also heavy. Uh, the sofas and uh, the other uh, the dining table. The uh, as Sudha said, the the staircase is different, but the handrails again I felt was quite heavy, heavy. with a lot of detailing in it. I'll go for six. Six out of ten. <laughs> Landscaping. Quite disappointing actually, it's just paving tiles all over the place. I'll go for a 4.5. 4.5 out of 10, Mr. Jibbo? 5. 5 out of 10. Kitchen. The kitchen, uh, because it's so small, I think the contrasting black and white that they have used in the kitchen didn't work very well for me. Uh, there is two levels of colors in the splashback itself. That's an again another shade of brown. So uh, overall, uh, it's it feels a little cluttered. So I'm going for a five. Five out of ten, Mr. Jibbo. I think the color combination have gone slightly wrong there because it's black and white for the cabinets. It's off-white flooring. Then the dadoing no. also doesn't matches up with that. So overall, the total matching of the entire color combination is not there. I'll go for five point five. 5.5 out of 10. Bathroom. Standard bathrooms, I'll go for a 5.5. 5.5, Mr. Jibbo? I'll go for 6. 6 out of 10. Flooring. Uh, interesting flooring in the sense that they've used different uh, patterns and colors. It, it's simple enough uh, to give it the added uh, look to the room. The only thing that I found uh, a little daunting was the carpets, the very, very bright and bold carpets. Uh, you had a center carpet which was nice, but then you had a runner there that was so absolutely um, dominating the rest of the scenario that you didn't look anywhere else, you were looking at that carpet all the time. So altogether, I think the carpets or the soft furnishing move out, especially the curtains also, I think the flooring by itself was good, so six. Six out of ten, Mr. Jippo. Uh, I've seen vitrified tiles all over the place mm -hmm. and they have, most of them is covered by this hugely uh, printed carpets, like she was saying, and uh, I don't know, uh, you know, you know, those carpets uh, dominate the flooring. You don't see the vitrified much because the carpets are there no. everywhere. Uh, I'll give it six. Six out of ten. Wardrobe. The wardrobes have been planned in the sense it's been designed for the spaces that are provided for them. It also integrates into a dressing table kind of space. So altogether it's, it worked, uh, it's been designed well, but again the, the, the wood color is too dark. It's getting close to black, which again I don't know where the black came from in the kind of color schemes that is going on there. So I'll give it a six. Six out of ten, Mr. Uh, I think the dark color uh, which uh, she was talking about is basically from the bedroom itself. It's, uh, it's there in the court. We've just translated it to the wardrobe. Uh, I'll also give it six. Six out of ten. Paintings. Color scheme is a bit of a trouble here, I think. Uh, starting from the exterior, somehow the blue and the reds or the orange or whatever the shade was. Uh, I felt, yeah, it is, it is a, a showstopper sort of, you'll stop and look at it, but how much you enjoy it is a bit of a uh, question. So, and uh, coming to the interiors, again, uh, the use of, like, like Jibu said, I think it could be the lack of lighting that we saw in the shots. Uh, probably if all the drapes were up and there was enough lighting in it to tone down the colors so much. So, altogether, uh, the color paintings, I'll give it a five. Five out of ten, Mr. Jibu. I think the exterior colors they've used is uh, quite dramatic and it is serving the purpose. Maybe the blue was slightly out of place. That orange, black and uh, grayish black and the pergolas are matching quite well. Uh, the interior ivory color is uh, decent and it goes well with the, any color. I'll give it six. Six out of ten. <laughs> Value for money. Six out of ten. 
Six out of ten, Mr. Chipu. Same six. Again, six out of ten. The marks given by Mr. Da is fifty-four point five, and by Mr. Chipu is fifty-eight point five. Exactly, the total is one hundred and thirteen out of two hundred. So with this, we are winding up today's episode. Till the next time we meet, this is Archana Ravi and the entire team of Dream Home Season Seven, powered by Johnson Tiles, co-presented by ACC Cement, Sprayag, HPL Wires, and Asset Home. Signing off. Ta-ta. <laughs>